There are so many Svarim in the base measures. There are so many Svarim in the Jewish library. I thought I'd take the opportunity to make a series of short videos trying to introduce you to all of the Svarim, which I think are basic and important for you to know about. Some of them it's important to know about because they're classics and they'll be referenced in other places and in other Svarim. And you might not be learning them and for various reasons, which I'll see, I might not even recommend learning them, but it's important to know about them and to be comfortable with them. And then there's going to be some Svarim, which are not classics, but they're important to know about. They're important to know about because they might be uh, recommended for you to learn and because they might be contemporary Svarim, which are not yet classics, but one day they'll be classics. So I want to try to get us accustomed to as many as possible, and so that we're also comfortable and know our way around the base metrish a little bit and around the Svarim a little bit. Um, I divide the Svarim into categories, uh, into Halacha and Machshava and Musr and reference Svarim, even though the line and the distinction is not always so clear. And it's not always so significant, certainly between Musa and Machshava. So I might have chosen just to put them in one category or other for convenience. Or in some, I might explain why I've put them in one category and another. The safer we're going to start with today is Emunot Videot by Rav Sadiagon, by the Rasag. Uh, this is essentially the first real organized, structured Sefer Machshava. Uh, Rav Sadi Gon, as the name implies, was a Gon, which means he was after the time of the Gemara, but before the time of the Rishonim. And he was really, his his real, I'm not going to say purpose in life, but his main struggle throughout his life was arguing and disagreeing with the Kar- Karaim, the Karaites, who disagreed with Torah Min HaShamayim. And that was really one of the impetuses, together with, the rise of Islam, to really put together a structured explanation of the Yisodos Ha'emunah of of Torah. Whether it's in terms of Scharva Onesh, Torah Min HaShamayim, the existence of Hashem, uh, all of these pieces were very significant, all the basic Yisodos of Ha'emunah. Now, his basic Yisod, which you'll see, his basic Yisod is that he was a rationalist. He felt the Torah at some point, even if we can't necessarily understand it right now, but at some point, everything in Torah could be come to, could, we could come to in a rational way, given the time and given the experience. Okay, now the reason why it needed to be given, and we couldn't just develop it on our own, is because not only would it take eons of time, but we would have to go through a lot of trial and error until we got to what was rationally correct. Uh, that's Rav Sadiagon, the reason why in general you're not going to see people uh, who who learn it so often is because the language is very difficult. I would say it's written in a medieval way, but it's even before medieval. So it's a, it's a very difficult read, but it's a very important safer to know about. And when we get to the Rambam, we'll see how that builds off of it, and we get to other svarim, which are which are take a different path, like the Kuzari. We'll see how he's responding also to Rav Sadiagon. But that's the first sefer Machshava to know about. It's called Emunot Videot by Rav Sadiagon.